Hello and welcome back. This is part three of buying and selling your house at the same time. So if you missed part one and two, you can always go back to the previous videos. They're there on this page. So these are the last three tips. Then this will conclude this series of buying and selling your house at the same time. So stay tuned and I'll be right back. Hi, I'm Denise Watkins. I'm with the Watkins Team RE with Samson Properties. So you made it back. You made it back to the finale and I'm so excited to share these last three tips of buying and selling your house at the same time. So we're gonna start with tip number seven. You wanna relax and accept that compromise is inevitable. So rather than worrying about getting every detail right with your home search and your home sale, trust that things will work out eventually. Even if it doesn't look like your plan is working, plan A fail, plan B, or even plan C for that matter, perfecting every detail isn't necessarily a successful home sale. So luckily, if you've got a good team of professionals on your side, you can relax knowing that others have your back and are monitoring every detail behind the scenes. You have your real estate agent, your loan officer, your title company, and we're all here for you. And tip number eight, don't worry much too much if your path is strained from convention. Remember that home buying are trends, and that's what they are. They are estimates, not the facts. So if your home search isn't going exactly like your neighbors, it doesn't mean that you are doomed to fail. You just have to know that it is possible, for example, that seasonality trends may affect the sales in your neighborhood. So a delayed sale in the summer or fall could affect your journey, but not necessarily. So according to the National Association of Realtors, the housing market tends to be more competitive during the summer and less competitive during the winter. But it's not as hard as you think because every real estate transaction is different. That's why it's important to contact a local agent about your specific situation. And finally, number nine, enlist help early. This leads us to our final tip. If possible, call us early in the process. We'll not only provide you with key guidance on what you should do ahead of time to prepare your current home for sale, we'll also help you narrow down your list of must-haves and wants for your next one. That way, you'll be able to act quickly and confidently when it's time to list your home and make an offer on a new one. It's our job to guide you and advocate on your behalf. So don't be afraid to lean on us throughout the entire home buying process. We're here to ease your burden and to make your home as your move as seamless and stress-free as possible. So, so if you're gonna take anything away from these nine tips, it is to collaborate with a real estate professional someone who can get you tailored advice that works specifically for you. So I can say this, that buying and selling a house at the same time, it is very challenging, but it doesn't have to be a nightmare. And it can even be a little bit of fun. The key is to educate yourself about the market and prepare yourself for multiple scenarios. So one of the best and easiest ways to do so is to partner with a knowledgeable, a reputable and trustworthy agent. And I say a good agent will not only help you evaluate your situation, but we will also provide you with honest and individually tailored advice that addresses your unique needs and challenges. So depending on your circumstances, now may be a great time to sell your home and buy a new one. But a thorough assessment, however, may instead show that you're better off pausing your home search for, for a little while longer. I am Denise Watkins. I'm available for a free consultation. I have placed a calendar link on this page. You can go there and schedule uh, an appointment to meet with me so I can review your options. Actually, we can review your options and we can decide which is the best way for you to move forward. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Friday. And until then, I will see you next week.